and, um, and welcome to uh, normal mapping. Normal mapping um, in 3D um, goes in two ways. There's two ways to do it, and they're not. You don't just do one or the other. You should do both of them actually, and combine the map if you can. If you cannot, that's fine. But you know, it's better. Uh, one way is to do it with Photoshop filters. The other way is to bake the features in a 3D software like Maya from a high polygon uh, object to a low polygon, extract a normal map, and then apply the normal map to the low poly. Okay? Uh, that's the second way, you see in the second video. In that first video right here, okay, on Photoshop, you use a filter. It's an NVIDIA filter. So you, go to go, you need to go to the NVIDIA website. Uh, and get the filter for normal mapping and it'll appear right here in NVIDIA tool right here okay guys so let me make uh, let me open a picture I got a brick wall somewhere here. right there okay this is a, a brick wall with a little bit of uh, plaster at the bottom and top so that's perfect for what we want um, it looks seamless to me or close to it uh, enough yeah uh, it doesn't really matter for what we want to do. Okay, so now what we need to do is to transform that into a normal map. Okay, and that's really easy. Okay, you have the filter applied, or I mean, installed already. You go to the NVIDIA, you go to normal map filter right here. Okay, and it's hard to see, but you can see it right there. Okay, the sampling of those things. All right, and that's less and less makes more blur to it. Okay, so you might want that. You can, uh, you know change certain things if you want to um, you'll see it when we have the final thing uh, done um, you can have uh, a scaling all right so it shows more that's fairly important i'll put it really high so you can see it on the screen but you don't want to do that okay three is way enough for what you want and you click okay and it's going to transform that into a normal map okay there you go right there Okay. You want to make sure that the recess are recessed, like the grouts, and not the other way. And if you have that problem, which I find quite a bit, in reality, you just inverse the green channel. Okay, just reverse the green channel. See, that's, by looking at the green channel, you'll see the emboss, basically. And that one is good. Uh, but if it's reversed, just, you know, just reverse the green channel. Okay, it's pretty easy. Okay, now you save that. I'll save it as web, but you shouldn't. It's like that. It's fast. It'll be faster for me and not as heavy on my machine. Um, you can add a blur. Also, there's no blur. No, I don't put any blur. But usually, I put a blur on top of it. So I put normal. Okay, we're out of Photoshop, and let's get into uh, uh, Maya now. Yes, I'm still in 2009. As some of you guys already asked, UAT you know, doesn't provide uh, anything but what they use um, on campus. So we have to go on campus. This, you know. So my is starting. And right here, we are going to create just a plane. So from the side right here, make a plane right there. Right click on it, assign new material. Okay, we'll put a fong into it. We'll go to the material to the color. We're gonna put the color map, so the file right here. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's make sure we show it right here. Okay, let's also make sure we apply uh, some sort of a planner projection to it and we are in the x-axis so create UVs, planner, option, the x-axis and apply that. Okay, so now it looks much better uh, in that type of thing. Okay, now let's go to the shader right here. Hyper shade. Uh, that's the shader right here, it's fong right there. Okay, and you can change, you can have a fong E if you want to. All right, uh, you can use a uh, Lambert if you want to, also. But I would say not the Lambert, there's no specular on it, so you should stay with the fong. Okay, 
now show its uh, connections and you're gonna make a little new connections with it you are gonna create right here a file right there bring it in double click and in the file image name right there you are gonna follow and get the normal map that you just created <coughs> and now you're gonna simply draw drag middle mouse drag into the out I mean from the out arrow to the in arrow of the shader and you're gonna select bump map okay uh, that's gonna give you a bump and not a normal map so double click right here so you get to the option of the bump and you are gonna select use bump as uh, space tangent normals right here okay now if you go into the render and you put high quality right here you will get that which is a normal map there you go all right that one doesn't have uh, it's not blurry you see it's you know it looks like you have something you know it gives a lot more quality uh, you know it says to the wall and it's more realistic than anything else okay you guys so that's a normal map like that you see all the shininess and stuff and the thickness uh, when you have nothing right see just a poly that's the way to do it with uh, photoshop Okay, we are going to look very soon in the next video how to do it um, in my itself.